And speaking of mutants, that's a good segue into the Avengers talk. Where we're, I'm just going to give out theories and just my thoughts about everything. So, everything is shrouded around uh, Avengers Endgame and what it entails. So, basically some word had came out. I talked with my brother and he had mentioned something as well as I read an article, funny enough, like a few, like, hours after i got done talking with him speaking about the same subject and i'm going to lead off with this is that what if everything or majority of everything that we've seen in the avengers in-game trailers aren't in the movie question would you be okay with that would you be okay with you know, the whole thing with Infinity War, with seeing the Hulk and Wakanda and just the certain scenes in the in the trailer, certain lines of dialogue not being used for the movie. I know a lot of people, including myself, was kind of like, I guess you could say thrown off by it. But at this point, it's like, okay, now we made ourselves immune to it, hopefully. But what if everything that we've seen in the trailer isn't true? What if... They, to avoid spoilers of the movie and stuff getting out, they just went to incredible lengths where they did the same thing that they did for Infinity War where they gave out fake scripts, uh, fake scenes, well, basically just fake scenes and uh, scenes that weren't in the movie. They shot it for the trailer or maybe just did scenes that, you know, will confirm confuse the actors and not knowing what exactly is going to happen you know they only given a certain amount of they only getting given what they have to do in that one scene that they're going to shoot for that day so they're not given a whole script and then maybe they shoot multiple endings to where it's like they don't know what's going to be used and what if they went so far as to record scenes and put together whole scenes that were just meant for the trailer just to give us something because what if they didn't have it in their minds to where they're gonna that they, they were gonna just release a trailer because you gotta think they're gonna have they're gonna have to have something some type of teaser even for the people that even if they don't give out no trailer it's people that's still gonna go buy it just to see what happens they're gonna be curious as to be like how is this movie gonna end what are they gonna do and but, you know, you're going to have a lot of fans that's going to be disappointed. Like, where's the Avengers trailer? I want to know the title. Blah, blah, blah. Like how it was before last year. And I'm one of those people that was waiting for the title. I wanted to know what the title was. I wanted to know what the uh, what the trailer was. Certain scenes from it. I want to know what, you know, what they have to show us. Show me something. You know, and I, and I guess that was kind of like that one thing. It was tired of just people being like, oh, we need a trailer. We deserve a trailer. Duh, duh, duh. You know, so, you know, it, it's, it's kind of like one of those scenarios. But, I mean, what if that was just the case that they gave us something, but it's not truly what is all up in the movie? Like, I myself will be okay with it because that just let us know that they gave us something even though a lot of those scenes are in the movie in lines of dialogue and everything else even though I do hope certain scenes were like the scene with Captain Marvel and uh, Thor I did like it in the last trailer they got dropped with him like calling over Storm ha uh, Stormhammer uh, what is it uh, Stormbreaker and then him kind of like sitting on it well not sitting on it but like relaxing on it and him saying that like I like this one. Like, I, I do hold that that's in the trailer. But if it's not, I'll be okay with it. But just think, you know, going into a movie where you think you know what's going to happen and you don't. Everything you've seen was a lie, but at the same time, it's to keep fresh eyes on it. But the only thing that can backfire is that going into the movie, like the week of or the week, you know, when you get advanced screenings of these, a lot of times, you're going to have people that be like, none of these scenes are in the movie. Don't be fooled. You know, and it's like, and that right there is a spoiler. Like, I would love to go into it and not know that any of these is in, you know, not any of, like, the scenes is in the movie. I, I would want to, like, I would want to know if it's not in the movie, don't tell me. Because I would want to be bamboozled. This is a case where I want to be bamboozled. And to me, that would be genius. 
That would be genius. That would be something that has never been done in movie history. And at, in this particular situation, you know, who can disagree with it? It's a movie that has a lot of secrets. You don't want to get it out. So you're going to lengths to do it. And if you got to confuse the, um, the, the actors that's involved, that way only a handful of people know actually how this is going to pan out. You know, if you got to trick them, you got to trick us. And by just, you know, putting out scenes that's not actually in the movie, it's like, do it. You know, like that to me is some genius marketing if that does come to pass, which I don't, I, I wouldn't put like this. I wouldn't be surprised because a lot of us, we have even said it. I've, I've had discussions with my brother, like, what if, you know, those scenes aren't in the movie? What if all of that isn't in the movie? You know, they just giving us something. And I've, I've, I've said this before, like, you know, what if? <laughs> and also, like, when you think about it, it kind of makes logical sense. Because what have we seen in the trailer? We have not really seen any action in the trailer. All we seen was majority of just the actors just looking, you know, down and, you know, just certain little quick scenes that, you know, they could... It won't take a day. It probably would take a day just to shoot majority of, like, the trailer, you know? And it's like, it, it wouldn't. It really wouldn't take that much. And, I mean, just really think about what's in the trailers. Like, we, like, I, I even said it. I know a lot of people said it. that like, we haven't gotten that boom trailer where it just go flat out where we see a lot of crazy action, fight scenes, and just blah, 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 and all this craziness. We just seen bits and pieces of stuff. You know, you will see like people probably like kind of in action, but not really doing anything, you know? So, I mean, it, it makes per perfect, perfectly good sense that maybe that's why we haven't seen anything because those scenes are in the trailer. And then going on that logic, if that's true, what if the title that we're given for Endgame, what if that's not even true? What if... That was just the title that they just put out there was like, okay, y'all want a title? We'll give you a title, you know? And we think that it's the real title, but it's not. What if it has a totally different title and the title is a spoiler to what the movie is entailed? Well, you know, what the movie involves, you know? What if, you know, it's just, it's a big what if. Like, would you be upset if everything we see from just the title to just all the scenes in the trailer and lines of dialogue is not in the movie at all. That's genius if that's if that's true. But I believe that if certain scenes aren't in the movie, at least some of them are going to be in the movie, you know. But, I mean, but like I said, this movie is shrouded in a lot of stuff. We don't know the extent of what Thanos' uh, role is in here. And like I said up in like a... Uh, you know, uh, last podcast was that we're starting to get a lot more of Thanos as far as the trailer, like the, it was like what the first trailer. And then we got the new empire, uh, magazine cover with Thanos on the cover, a prominent him having his own solo cover and then having him standing over the field, looking out into like the distance with like, you can see his uh, armor on the, on the scarecrow or whatever, like a good little distance away from him. And it's like, you're not going to put a character like that, that prominent in a, you know, magazine or on a magazine cover if they're only going to have like five minutes of, you know, screen time in the movie. So Thanos is going to play a prominent role. How big of a role that is? Psh, hey, any is that's any of our guesses. But just because of just how much we've seen him lately or you know it, I, I tend to believe that he plays a major role i feel like they're gonna have a big action set piece because when you think about it we haven't really seen i mean we have but we haven't seen thanos at you know really just get down dirty fighting we've seen him take down the hulk we've seen him go against like uh, Guardians of the Galaxy and a couple of the Avengers and Doctor Strange but he had the gauntlet so majority of the time he was fighting but he was using the gauntlet 
So we really didn't see a full-fledged, you know, combat scene with Thanos. And to see a scene like that with the OG Avengers, all of them basically just going against Thanos and he just like holding his own. I feel like that would be a awesome set piece. And I feel like that's what we're in the, that's what we're going to be in for. We're going to see something of that. And to me, that is exciting. That is truly exciting. Now, just go back because I should have uh, basically led, I should have basically connected this with the first thing with the trailers and everything else. But when it comes to this, when will we get a full length trailer? Let's say that those scenes are in the trailer. When we when will we get a full length trailer? And from what I'm hearing is that maybe April 2nd and maybe that is the day that, you know, tickets go on sale, which I do plan on getting it cuz if you guys plan on going to AMC, you do not have A-list stubs then uh, man i don't know what to tell you you need to get a-list stubs especially if you're trying to see this movie and you're trying to go to amc get it truly get it it is going to be a money a huge discount money saver but when we get a new trailer and if it is another trailer will it be that i guess you could say boom type of trailer that it shows a lot of crazy action in it maybe thanos you know, him fighting, you know, him like maybe running at running at the Hulk and then the Hulk running at him and then they about to clash. You know, kind of like, you know, how trailers do. They did it with BVS, you know, where they just going at each other and then bam, Avengers Endgame, you know, and stuff like that. You know, when will we get that? I, I feel like that will probably happen sometime soon. I hope that they do the announcement for it because I don't want to be like Friday where I wake up like a little bit you know i think i woke up around seven eight or whatever and i saw the trailer i just hope that it doesn't be like that i hope that we get fair warning that way when that trailer drop and hopefully if they be like tickets on sale right now i could just hop on at them and just blah, 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 buy them tickets and just man just just savor savor the taste um but i don't know i feel like we should get a full length trailer sometime soon if we don't get another trailer before this movie comes out i will be perfectly fine with it i'm not going to be one of those people that are just mad that we haven't got a full full like four something minute trailer i wouldn't be like that i'm going to go see the movie regardless i'm going to go see it opening weekend i'm trying to go see it at navy pier in the imax screen i already got my plan i already got that plan so most definitely, most definitely, this movie. I, I just, man, I, I just can't speak enough how excited I am. I just can't speak on enough at how crazy excited I truly am about it. But um, yeah. So and, and there was just a lot of speak, a lot of talk of just the blank spaces in the trailer. Now we've all kind of like witnessed that with Civil War because if you think about the Civil War, um trailer who was missing up in there spider-man when you look at the trailer and then you look at the real movie it's a blank spy i think right next to black widow and i don't i don't forget who else he was in between but it was black widow spider-man and somebody else and you can see it that there's a big gap and they you know didn't put spider-man up in there just not to ruin that scene of whatever and people were talking about and this is just old months back or whatever about I think it what was it I think it was the second trailer, no 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 it was the f first trailer it was one of the Avengers in game trailers where they're walking toward the ship that's landing right outside of the Avengers uh, headquarters or the Avengers mansion or whatnot and you see just kind of like how they spread out maybe another character is right there but I, I just don't know I think that that's just people's minds going crazy because of the Civil War and Infinity War trailers, how certain things were missing or how certain things were put in there that wasn't in there. So I think people are just grasping at straws of what possibly could be, or you know, if it is somebody taking out who it possibly could be. But I, I truly, I, I truly, I, I really, I don't know. I just don't care for the blank spaces. That's just me. You know, people can speculate on it. 
it just I don't really care for it. But also on top of that, they've had test screenings of this, and from what we've uh, what they've said, the Russos is that for one, people did not get up out their seats at all. They were thinking about it, the whole runtime being three hours. At right now, it's currently at three hours. They may cut it. They may keep it at three hours, depending on like you know what's vital to the movie or you know if it needs to be three hours which i wouldn't care i wouldn't care i, I will stay there for a three-hour movie the only thing that will be my mortal enemy my mortal enemy would be getting something to drink because i want to have the full experience i want to have a drink i want to have a hot dog i want to consume both foods but in having a drink that will result in me having to take a pee especially if the movie is three hours long and i do not want to leave my seat i do not want to miss it because unlike what i did with infinity war when that movie came out i saw it thursday opening day i was able to see the show right after it with Navy Pier, I doubt if I'm going to be able to do that. I seriously doubt. That's even if I get tickets. If I'm quick enough, hopefully I can get my tickets for my brother, myself, and uh, my nephew. But if I'm not quick enough, I probably might get it somewhere else. And I'm going to have to be quick enough to do that. But, uh, yeah. Uh, ah, that's, that's, that's rough. But, you know, a three-hour movie, I wouldn't mind it at all. I would love for it to be three hours because... Yeah, if especially if it's that damn good, most definitely, most definitely. But getting right back to the whole, uh, yeah, people did not leave their seats to go pee. They stayed there intently on the movie and everything else. And it was, they even said certain people fainted in the movie because of, guess what, certain, what happened. And I don't know, like, when it comes down to it, I would love to believe that. I would love to believe that people fainted. But we we hear this stuff from, I mean, and this is coming from the people who make the movie. Like, I can sit here and be like, I just recorded a podcast uh, the other day. And I let my brother, I let a couple people hear it. And they say it's the best episode that they've ever heard from any podcaster ever in life. That it is the best episode ever and all this stuff that people just had to listen to it two, three times and stuff like that. I could say that. I could literally get online and say that and write it out and blah, blah, blah. Doesn't mean that it's true. That's just them boasting up. Now, it could ultimately be true. It truly can be true. They, they could have done something in this movie that nobody has ever even thought of. Like in all of our con conspiracy theories, or I guess you could say speculations that no one has ever thought of, that when we see it, we're going to be like, that is fucking genius. It could be like that. Or, like I said, it could be just totally fabricated just to get people excited because, yeah, we, we've all known, you know, Kevin Feige and the Russos to be very truthful. Very truthful, you know. They've never said that, you know, the title of Avengers for was not a title that was ever used in the movie. They've never said that before. Or they've never put anything in a trailer that wasn't in the movie. They've never done that. So I can believe that the Russos and Kevin Feige have will be truthful and, and tell us the truth. <laughs> you know, it, it's like at this point, it's like you got to take stuff at face value until you're pro until we're proven wrong. You know, we can get excited about everything that we see and hear. But we won't know the actual truth until we actually see the movie and, you know, what they've done with it, which I'm excited. I'm truly excited. And, and there's also just reports about a new villain and who this new villain could possibly be, be or whatever. And you can go all down the line. A lot of people will say Galactus. A lot of people will say Ultron, which I'm kind of on a train about Ultron. So that one is not too far fetched. Uh, Kang, I don't really know too much about Kang, but I know that name has been floated out around there. Uh, maybe Doctor Doom, 
maybe um, well, not, I ain't gonna say Doctor Doom because they just got the rights today. So to try and squeeze the the character arc of Doctor Doom in there, plus he don't fit in with them. He needs to be introduced with or after you know Fantastic Four. You know he needs to be closely associated with Fantastic Four. But uh, when it, I don't know, like who? What if there is a new villain? Who can it be? How major does this villain play a role? You know, uh, is this movie about, you know, Thanos again? But they, the Russos then came out and said that Thanos' job is done. You know, his job is done. He set out to wipe out half of all living life on in the universe. He went to go collect, he got the gauntlet, went to collect the stones in order to do it. He snapped his fingers and completed his mission. Sat down and took a sigh and took not nah, took a breath of relief into a uh into a sunset at the end of avengers infinity war he completed his job he did what he did so that's what got me to believe that he does have a big role in avengers endgame but it's not a major role like i don't think he's going to be the main villain but maybe if it's not a new villain maybe it's just revolving around them trying to undo or, you know, just fix what Thanos did. And with what we know so far, they, they're going to undo it somehow, some way. Maybe just get recreate a new gauntlet, collect stones through time. Which that is the big thing that we all believe that is going to involve just time travel. And that they're going to snap, somebody's going to snap their fingers and bring a lot of them back. Because we already know Doctor Strange, uh, Black Panther, Spider-Man, Nick Fury... Falcon, Winter Soldier, more than likely, if not all of them, majority of the Guardians are going to come back. Uh, and just a lot of the people that got snapped away are going to come back. Or at least majority of the heroes. Um, Scarlet Witch is one of them. Uh, maybe Loki. Even though he didn't get like snapped away with them doing a Loki series. I don't know if that's going to be... I, I believe it's going to be a prequel. Maybe it's after you know i don't know but we all know that a lot of them will come back but however they fix it it's like maybe that's just kind of like the story or maybe there is a new villain and i'm not too you know far away from just really believing that it's otron because i mean just think about it like i don't know like i, I just have a feeling that some part of otron is still out there you know, that Ultron just isn't dead. Maybe he stored, like, a piece of him away in the dark web. And then he's going to reemerge and be, maybe this time, more sinister than just jokey, jokey, you know, I'm a bad guy, this, that. He can be more sophisticated and just more just downright sinister in his stuff. How he was predicted up in the Age of Ultron trailer. Maybe. And maybe he can... You know, I don't know. It, it just, I don't know. Like, it, it, it's a lot of, <clears throat> it's a lot of names that you could throw out that could possibly be right, could possibly be wrong. I mean, we just, just simply don't know. But that's one of the rumors or reports, however you want to view it, is out there that there is a new villain. Uh, but just simply, how would it end? How will this movie end? I have my theories, but at this point, we know so little. And with the, um, with the thing of the scenes in the trailers possibly not being real, or you know, scenes in the movie, it's possible. It's it's hard to place what will happen in this movie. What I truly think is that they're gonna do time travel. They're gonna get the stones. They're gonna undo the snap. And bring a lot of people back. I feel like. I know a lot of people have their idea. Of who is going to kill Thanos. I think that is Iron Man. Because you've set up his character. Even though a lot of people might look at Thor. And you know just because he had more of an emotional. Uh, I guess you could say. I mean everybody had an emotional part of this movie. From just Star-Lord. And him losing Gamora. And just Spider-Man with the whole, I don't feel so good. 
Mr. Stark, I don't want to go. I don't want to go. You know, that type of stuff. Yeah, you know, and, you know, Thor just being like he's lost everything. Thanos, basically, he, he killed his brother right in front of him. And he couldn't do anything about it. Killed half of the people that he saved off of Asgard. And more than likely, when he snapped his fingers, probably killed majority or at least half of the people that escaped with uh, Valkyrie. It's like he's lost a lot. And then he lost the war against... He lost the Infinity War. They, you know, he... he, And I guess more than likely you would say that he blames himself. Because he didn't do what Thanos said he should have done. He should have went for the head. He had the kill shot. And instead of just literally... He could have just simply just snapped his neck. Or just gone for not even just the head but the hand. You know, he could have, like, you know, whatever, but you would think that they kind of set it up to where Thor is possibly going to kill him. I think he would probably be right below, right below Iron Man. The, uh, I know a lot of people throw out the Hulk, but I don't, I don't think so. I think that they setting it up for a Hulk to have a comeback to where he does go at Thanos but he does get the upper hand this time and he get to smash Thanos and just put him down. I don't think that it's going to be to where he kills him. Iron Man, they've been setting up ever since the first Avengers movie from, you know, everything that happened up there, him almost dying, trying to save the world from the Satyri army and, you know, just uh, uh, Thanos' forces and everything else. And ever since then, that's where his mind has been. Even the Age of Ultron just kind of like go from there. I mean, you can kind of count like uh, Iron Man 3 because he was suffering from PTSD from the events of the, uh, of the Avengers movie. And then it carried on to, you know, uh, Age of Ultron. With him, that's the reason why he created Ultron, you know. And him just having a vision that Scarlet Witch gave him with his nightmare and what he doesn't want to happen and him failing to save the earth, like, or, you know, and even just his friends, like, that was a hard setup. And then going from there all the way to uh, Civil War, going all the way to Civil War with the reason why he was backed up with the, uh, with, with the government. Was that he knew that, you know, he needed to protect the world somehow. And maybe this was the better way. And more than likely, that was what drove him. And then even him taking Spider-Man in as like, you know, under his wing and trying to teach him how to be a hero. You know, it, it, everything just kind of changed him. It's like he wants to feel like he made a difference. And then going to Infinity War with him knowing that this is it. This is the guy that everything just comes up to, just comes down to, you know. This is the guy that they need to stop in order to save the earth. This is his purpose. And then to know that he wasn't able to stop this guy, that he almost died trying, and then lost Spider-Man, a, a kid that he'd grown a connection to, know that he failed his mission. And just with this movie that if the trailer is true with him stuck out in space and all that stuff and loss of food and water and maybe with no hope of getting home, almost about to die after he's lost, man, they, they, that, that's a great case for setting up a character, a singular, I guess you could say the main character of the MCU for the triumph of win over evil. Now, who's going to debate with me? I just set up something that probably a lot of people have not even truly thought of. I know a lot of people have, but a lot of y'all that just out there want store or Captain America to do it or, you know, maybe don't. I know a lot of people don't want Captain Marvel to do it, but, you know, that's something to ponder on. They've set Iron Man up from the first Avengers movie on to be this person that's more than likely going to risk his life to save everything else. That's that to me. Yeah. Hands down. Iron Man is going to be the person to save everything. That's just what I think. I may be true. I may be uh, right or I may be wrong. I don't know. Maybe it may be Thor. Because he did say you were going to die for that. But he didn't say 
he was going to kill him for that. He just said that he was going to die for that. So that can mean that he doesn't have to kill him. So, hey, I mean, that's just my, that's just my, uh, my prediction. But also going into this, end credits. What are we going to see in the end credits? As of right now, I know, uh, I know I've heard that like right now they're probably not going to do anything alluding to the X-Men or anything like that, but they have enough time. They don't have to do anything major. They don't even have to get a actor to portray Wolverine. They don't have to get an actor to portray a certain X-Men or whatever. They literally, literally can just shoot something that reference maybe like the Fantastic Four, uh, a villain that they couldn't use before, maybe just reference X-Men, maybe Xavier's uh, School for Gifted Youngsters or something. However, let's just say like the X-Men is included into this, whether they change the story, change the timeline or something of that nature, they all they had to do was do a reference, a scene that probably would just take a day to shoot, you know? They shot the Swarmer scene after on, at the end of the first Avengers at the end credit scene. They shot that the day of the premiere, which that movie came out that that Thursday. So they shot that scene, even though that scene wasn't like involving anything, any th- lines of dialogue. It just was them sitting in the store that got damaged, but was you know uh, good enough to where they could eat Swarmer just sitting at the table and just you know. Man, after this battle, we're hungry. You know, they can do something like that. They have enough time right now. This deal is already in. So you can literally put, I ain't going to say shoehorn, because more than likely they've already got a plan for what they're going to do. And that more than likely is going to be the one of the end credit scenes, if there are two. There may not be a post and end credit scene. If there is a just a post scene, or just an end credit scene, it probably may end up referencing uh, mutants or just the Fantastic Four or something of that nature or the next maybe big villain that the Avengers or even, the, I don't know if they're going to continue with the Avengers, but maybe the next big villain that another group fights, you know, I don't know. But I, I feel like it's, gonna, it's going to allude to some new characters that they have in their possession now. And that's what I believe. Uh, I I don't know who or what a villain or you know hero, but I, I feel like that's what it's gonna be. Now get into life after Endgame. That's harder to predict because we still haven't gotten the slate for like Endgame or anything. Uh, like we don't know. Like the only movie that we know that are coming out with the MCU is as far as i mean stuff has been put officially but not officially officially so as of right now is in game and far from home after that they are going to do like officially just officially they're going to do a black panther 2 and a doctor strange 2 and guardians of the galaxy volume 3 and then black widow is on the table uh as well as eternals but And that's just a few movies, a handful of movies upon other movies that are going to be released. Now, I believe D23 is premiering this year. They're going to have D23 as well as Comic-Con. Now, if they choose to skip Comic-Con, you just have everything at D23, they're probably going to release the new slate. That's what they're probably going to do. Probably going to have all these movies in line and they're going to just announce these movies that i just mentioned are going to come out but we're going to have this new character we're going to have x-men we're going to have fantastic four we're going to have dr doom we're going to have this movie that movie and all these movies so i feel like if not at d23 they're more than likely going to do it at comic-con but if they going to have d23 this year they're going to have everything there everything disney they're not going to be at comic-con but I, I just don't know. I just don't have really too much of a, you know, opinion on life after Endgame. Um, I believe that everything is going to go somewhat kind of back to normal. And Spider-Man Far From Home is going to be the one to lead off that. Who's going to consist? Who's Who the Avengers are going to consist of? 
Don't know. Maybe Black Widow separates herself from the Avengers and she's not an Avenger no more. Maybe Cap dies as well as Tony Stark ends up dying in this movie. I feel like they're going to have to have some type of like consequences. Like people are going to have to legitimately die and that's it. And if, you know, uh, Captain America dies, Iron Man dies, uh, let's say Hawkeye dies, and you still got like Thor, you know, Hulk and all that stuff. I, I feel like that would probably be cool. And let's say like Black Widow, she separates herself from there. And let's say that, you know, maybe with the new Avengers, you have Rhodey probably just kind of like behind the scenes. He's retired, but he's behind the scenes giving the order. Maybe he ends up working for S.H.I.E.L.D. or whatever. And, you know, he just, he's in charge of the Avengers, you know. he He's the one that is keeping the glue together but he's not out there in actual combat maybe you have captain marvel uh i ain't gonna say dr strange of black panther because i think that they're gonna be their own people you know they're just gonna be their own heroes so maybe uh captain marvel uh spider-man uh, i don't know like whatever other characters they may want to introduce maybe maybe let's say black widow don't separate herself maybe it, she still is part of the avengers and then maybe you have Thor up in there as well and stuff like that. Maybe that's what it's going to be. I don't know. But life after Endgame, I feel is truly going to be different. Truly is going to be different. And I just simply cannot wait for that to be. Uh, man, you just don't know <laughs> how, how excited I am for that. But yeah, man, that's really all I got for the Avengers talk. That's really all I get in my notes or whatnot. But, I mean, it, it's a lot to ponder on. I was talking with some guys earlier today at work about, you know, just the new stuff and stuff not being real. And we were just having a good conversation with it. Like, this is a good conversation piece. You know, not going against each other about, you know, what they think is going to happen or anything like that. But, you know, it's just giving your thoughts and opinions on what you think will happen or what you want to happen, you know? And, man, I don't know. I just like it, you know? Hey, it's whatever. 